Welcome back to the C Morning Show right here on C Today. Now uh, it is time for us, me and also Chef Fira, to learn more about mycoplasma pneumonia and also for you guys. So we are, you know, educated this morning by a very beautiful and also very charming doctor right in the studio. Hi, good morning, Doc. Hi, good morning. Okay, now morning. let's talk about the mycoplasma and pneumonia. Yes. Because it's uh, quite popular yes. uh, for the past few mm -hmm. months and basically it uh, affected to a kids. So, yes. please uh, enlighten us. What is that a mycoplasma and pneumonia? Mm -hmm. Okay, actually mycoplasma pneumonia is not popular just in a few this a uh, few this month. Mm. Right. But in our uh, in our session and our in medical condition mm -hmm. pneumonia is already exist since 1961 mm. oh okay so it's not a new bacteria actually yeah, yeah. but i don't know but uh it start from china that reported that there is a blow up or there is a incidence mm. that uh, happened in china that affect a lot of children in china yes so uh it makes uh, our country worries actually. Yes, yes, yes because the case is uh, yes, the rising cases. up, and yeah. yeah, of course we're, we, we need are, to be aware. We, of we that. have we have the experience with the COVID before, of and course. then what is this happening anymore? Yes. So we want to uh, know no about more. that yes. exactly. So before uh, we get into that topic a little bit more, we want to know more about Dr. Jessica Febi Kusuma Wati. Um, you are a beautiful and also we can see that <laughs> many <you>. children <laughs> will like you because of your you know yeah. your your bringing is so calming <laughs> itself <laughs> right so dr jessica tell us more right. about why did you want to be a pediatrician uh actually a classic reason like i like children right <laughs> but i think uh children all children uh have a dream so if the children get sick yep so that maybe they cannot uh, reach their dream so i try to mm. help them to reach their dream so i help them to uh help maybe Aww, to that's nice make uh their uh growth and development get well ah, oh. regarding growth and also development yes. right. growth and development um this myco uh, mycoplasma mm -hmm. uh, pneumonia mm -hmm. is actually you know the talk of you know the month here right in, in Jakarta especially here in Indonesia so we want to know more about the symptoms yes. that we need to be aware of doctor yes actually uh, mycoplasma pneumonia is the common bacteria that cause pneumonia right. or that cause acute respiratory infection right. it's common and it already exists since uh, maybe uh, 20 years ago yeah. yes. but now uh, it's rice because the maybe the pollution or mm. maybe it's spread out uh, rapidly yep. in our country yep. and actually for the symptoms that children infected by mycoplasma pneumonia is like other acute respiratory infection like okay. fever or uh, sore throat or uh, any wheezing wheezing is uh, something happen in our lung that something you can hear Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. right. It's like wheezing, and then uh, maybe a sneezing, sneezing or rainy nose, okay. rainy nose, oh. watery eyes. It can be the symptoms. Yes, okay. the symptoms, and mostly the mycoplasma pneumonia is caused atypical pneumonia. Mm -hmm. What is atypical pneumonia? Is the pneumonia that happen in children, uh, usually about five years old. Okay. Oh, okay. About five years old, and also from the symptoms, it like. Uh, mild symptoms okay. mild symptoms and the, the children is usually can uh, play still can school go to school and still like no sex at all right okay. so but if we uh, try to check the x-ray mm -hmm. it uh, show the pneumonia oh, right. oh okay it's atypical pneumonia okay so um, to know exactly is is one kid uh, affected or impact affected by this mycoplasma pneumonia mm -hmm. or not uh, it has to be um, further check 
yes, not only test. seeing for the uh, symptoms yes. and everything. So we know that uh, there have been confirmed cases uh, mm -hmm. here in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and affected to kids, of course, so affected to uh, children. So why is that? Is uh, is because the children are more prone to the disease or any bacteria or the viruses, or this mycoplasma um, infection is um, just specific, uh, you know, affected to uh, children? No, at all. And this this mycoplasma not only for children okay. or infected children; it's also adult. Uh huh. Mm. But uh, I already mentioned to you before that this pneumonia or this mycoplasma pneumonia mm. uh, is one of the common bacteria that cause pneumonia. Mm. Okay. It's already exists for a long time. Okay. But nowadays, due to the China's reported that it increased oh. the, from China okay. and uh, it can it make us worry yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is actually. Oh, but okay. it's just a common disease and it's not more severe than uh, COVID, uh -huh. it's not more severe uh -huh. than uh, influenza okay. Yeah, really. okay. It's just a mild symptoms or mild pneumonia okay. or, uh, Maybe in our medical, uh, we call it working pneumonia uh -huh. so Because the, the children uh, who get infected by this mycoplasma uh -huh. still can play, still can okay. go to school, can, or can still be like active. The, yes, the, doing just their like activity. common cold. All right, like common oh, cold. Like common okay. cold. Just like common cold, actually. Okay. Right. But uh, we we are not routinely check right. mm. the virus or the bacteria right. cause of pneumonia mm -hmm. because the the treatment is already the same actually. Okay. Mm. People or children who get pneumonia mm. uh, must be get antibiotics okay. Okay. okay so why we have to check the the specific bacteria that is not, uh, it's not necessary, necessary to yes because okay. it's the the check is for the check it mm -hmm. the one thing is it's a net swab oh, okay and the second one is expensive it's more than two million actually okay for the check just check okay. mycoplasma and the treatment is same oh yeah whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. the cause of pneumonia the okay. treatment is antibiotics okay so is there any complications doc if uh, a parents didn't do the further check mm -hmm. if uh, the kids or the children have that kind of symptoms mm -hmm. is it we know the, the parents will be worried of if course. so if the kids are uh, sick or everything got the symptom that mm -hmm. you already mentioned is there any uh, uh, complications if someone didn't do the further check not only for mycoplasma infection uh -huh. actually all pneumonia caused by any microorganism has a complication mm. like right. a severe complication uh -huh. uh, especially for the children who has a underlying disease okay mm -hmm. like weak immune response right. or we a uh, patient or children who have a uh, underlying disease like cancer okay. or like uh, something chronic infection okay. or something chronic disease mm -hmm. it may be a severe condition if uh, children get infected by mycoplasma or any other microorganism yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. like other pneumonia is also uh, has a also has complication complications. Yes. Okay. a severe complication but if we talk about mycoplasma mm -hmm. and specifically for mycoplasma is maybe uh it's very very seldom for for uh severe in oh, to be okay. severe right okay. so now uh regarding to the uh, symptoms that you mentioned dr jessica and also we're talking this um mycoplasma uh, pneumonia within kids yes. right sometimes it's more difficult to handle the situation because they're kids right mm. yes when they don't like it they don't feel it they don't want to do the treatment yes. right now in order not to get the treatment is not to be sick in order not to be sick that means prevention yes prevention. now let's talk about prevention since we're talking about children's right <laughs> and what is your what is your thought um, about you know children going back to school yes and not you there's no regulation about using maskers yes. again right within the classroom <laughs> since they're children that they tend to do you know mostly what they feel comfortable and there's no regulation to that so what is the prevention that you can actually say or teach to us this morning 
about the mycoplasma um, pneumonia uh, itself? Other than just, okay. you know, basically, of course, mm. using masks, yes. right? But, but there's no regulation, again, to that. Yes, <laughs> I, I know. Okay, uh, like other illness, the mycoplasma for prevented from mycoplasma, so we have to do a general precaution, like the first one is hand hygiene, of mm. course, mm. 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 hand hygiene. And the second one that you mentioned before, that wearing mask. Okay. Right. But for children, especially for under five years, yeah. it's difficult to ask them using your mask. Using okay. your mask, oh no, I will Very take it off. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then, it's okay, but uh, maybe because the mycoplasma is uh, spread out by droplets, mm. and the droplets that infected by mycoplasma, it can uh, make the other also Get infected it. by mycoplasma. Right. Right. So maybe we just can uh, make uh, distance from the children that has uh, ill. Mm -hmm. Right, for like illness. Now, yes. speaking of illness, like uh, inside the classroom, mm -hmm. so um, correct me if I'm wrong here. So one of the the distribution uh, rather than um, just, you said within droplets, right? Mm -hmm. And if they are in a close house, uh, close room, right? So. Here in Indonesia, it's hot, right? It's a tropical country. Yes. So every single house, there's always air condition yes. to it. So that means the doors and the windows yes. are closed. Yeah. Now regarding to that, what's your intake? Yes, uh, we already uh, mentioned to other uh, school, actually yeah. in Jakarta and other uh, city in yeah. Indonesia, that if children uh, get sick, or any other acute respiratory infection, mm -hmm. we um, we told to them that the children maybe have to uh, rest at home first. Okay, right. okay. It's the first one, and the second one, if the children cannot get home or uh, get rest at home, so maybe uh, the other children using masks. Okay. Because the mycoplasma actually. Um, Infected for the adult, no adult, the no, younger children, mm -hmm. and also uh, for the children above five years. Mm -hmm. okay. So maybe in uh, above five years, maybe we can more uh, easy to easier to, to tell them, to tell them to what we're in mass. Yes. But the below. Oh, five, five years, years, maybe it's very difficult, right? It's not maybe, it is difficult. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so basically the, one of the pre uh, prevention is that we are carried away, uh, you know, uh, thanks to the pandemic era, that yes. we are regularly very wash nice. our hands and we very are nice. wearing a mask every time. And because of the weather change as well, we have to, be, we have to take care of ourselves in order to take care of someone yes. else right especially for kids yes. with this uh, mycoplasma pneumonia basically it's not a new uh, it's not new things in a medical yes. perspective and you of don't course. have to worry about we this don't have stuff. to worry that much yes. but we still have to be careful yes. about that because it needs further check we need to take care because of its children affected to children I believe all the parents are worried uh, to see uh, the, the when their children are sick right yeah. so uh, as a uh, Dr. Jessica mentioned it's it's still curable, curable. Of course. it's not yes. it's not as severe as we think yes. uh, just because of the report from China it doesn't mean that it's something that we have to be afraid of yes. so just live normally just uh, eat good nutrition so yeah. food of yes. course uh, to get the best immune system i yes. think doctor you're right so <laughs> Hopefully that we can have a, a healthy kids, healthy children, and a happy uh, environment. And a happy life. <laughs> of life. course. Oh, yes, Thank you so much, doctor. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, so you much. for enlightening us. So, Dr. Rahma, you don't have to worry that much, but still, you're good because you are taking care of your family and children very well. I know, of course. but my, my favorite thing is, you know, getting my kids checked to a pediatrician. <laughs> I like that. Okay, just, just to be safe, right? Yeah, of course. Yes. That's good. That's one of our know. prevention, right? Yeah. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you so Thank much, Dr. So Jessica. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we know more. We know more about uh, mycoplasma pneumonia itself and how to prevent it. So now it is time for another short break for us here. So when we return, Shafira will have some updates regarding the year-end holidays that you might be interested. So keep it here. Thank you.